My name is Reggie Ruffin. I'm a civil rights advocate in Dallas, and I, uh, I'm here representing not just myself, but also a young lady whose son has been uh, convicted of a crime that is questionable about whether he committed or not because of the fact that the DNA evidence was 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 created from a lab that was closed for 30 years and they submitted this as evidence. Then when they did the appeal, they claimed that the DNA does not have any uh, credit as far as uh, the conviction. So it's, uh, it seems to be very confusing how a lot of the matters were handled, just like the fact that the young man uh, was, uh, was convicted based upon testimony that uh, violated his his fifth, his fourteenth, and his sixth uh, Sixth Amendment rights. So it seems that it's uh, seems like it's a lot of things going through that make people want to to file. I mean, when, when they when they convict someone, they are going over they trampling over a lot of uh, constitutional rights and amendments just to get the 13th Amendment right, if that makes any sense. Um, I also wanted to talk about how it seems that the rule of opinion over, uh, overstates the rule of law. I have, I have sent salient uh, complaints here many a times, and they always come back saying they looked over it and they, they didn't see anything wrong despite the fact I clearly put and noted what violations were, uh, were compromised and what was done because, like I said, the judges, some of the judges in Dallas County, they don't follow the rules at all. Matter of fact, I had a mediation that was uh, set to start on the 29th of uh, June, I mean, of July, and then they had a meeting on the 28th and threw the case out throughout both cases. And I have, I have the case files right here. I have everything just to show that, hey, this is something that's not a game that I'm uh, playing. I wouldn't waste no one's time on this because integrity is very important, and it seems like integrity is something that's been lost in our time. And I'm uh, really just hoping and I'm really imploring that, that somebody gets this thing right because a lot of lives are depending on these things getting done right. So thank you for your time. Thank you, sir.